All right, so just jumping straight on in, just hitting that trace song. So I'm about to die in. So September the 30th, uh, Shallow, you know, she rode with Irene and was Irene's sister, she's somebody. Um, so them three supposedly came together. So this is the thing. So on September the 30th, she put, when they killed Kanika, we seen that footage on a tape man i must have threw up everything i ate hashtag gone too soon now i ain't seen no footage when they killed kanika like straight up i seen footages of kanika roaming through the hallway i seen footage of kanika walking through the kitchen i even seen footage of kanika where it looked like two people were um grabbing kanika in the kitchen right in front of the freezer now that i saw from the the videos that rosemont released yeah but uh when they killed kanika no i ain't seen that so i just want to know what footage did she see now you know a lot of people had a lot of stuff in their phone and a lot of people claim they wasn't at the party which truly was and a lot of people um didn't get questioned by the police that was at that party so some of the people that was at that party did not even give a statement uh for example like uh kanika's first cousin that claimed he saw the man cleaning the pool and it said that the pool was unavailable so therefore if he saw that then that mean he had to be there you know around two three o'clock in the morning when all that whole pool shindig was supposed to be taking place now if i'm wrong y'all know y'all don't mind correcting me but if she seen the video on tape where they killed kanika then somebody need to go on and push that out there because you know it's a lot of people claiming they seen a lot of things but they ain't putting no receipts out there and you know i know around this time they want was dropping the uh surveillance footages but in not one surveillance footage did i see them killing kanika and you know y'all remember when p rico had said that teresa seen the footage of exactly what happened to kanika like or whatever like seen the parts we haven't seen and that she knows what happened and then you had andrew holmes talking about he's seen this and then other you know and he supposedly knows what happened but here you have you know her talking about she's seen it on tape now it you know around the time when this is posted you would think nothing of it because of the footage is being dropped but you look at what she say when they killed kanika not when kanika was walking down the hallway not when kanika posted a stumble uh in the freezer it say when they killed kanika we seen that footage and another thing who is we so who else saw this footage you get what i'm saying i'm just saying um i was like I said, you know, days ago I was working on some projects, but I had to work, you know, some longer shifts than expected. So when I got off of my brick and motor, I just just come on in and, you know, got the kids straight and I, I've been going to sleep. Shit, I've been tired. So I got some catching up to do. True enough. But I just want to know who is we and what uh footage on tape that you see when um they killed kanika because we still arguing the fact if she's even dead or alive now if you seen them killing her then uh you need to go on and drop that so other people can see it and we can just say okay well the girl's dead so now let's work on her killer because if not it's gonna constantly be rumors about her being this witness protection uh this being a hoax is a whole sobs you know all that good stuff so I mean, if it is what it is, then come on and end this. Everybody bring forth your information and and put this to rest. You always under people comments, let that girl rest and stuff. Well, hell, if y'all stop withholding information and going on and put the case to rest, then other people could rest. Because it's stuff like this that's constantly making you question what the hell is really going on. So, way back in September, y'all seen the footage of her getting killed and, you know, didn't bother to tell everybody else. I mean, I'm just saying. Because I know clearly you ain't talking about that punk ass footage that they dropped from Rosemont. I mean, mm, I don't know. So, what are we talking about?
because ain't nothing I seen that Rosemont produced would make me that sick at the stomach to want to throw up. You know what I'm saying? Not even the pictures that they rolled around in the freezer because I just still felt like them pictures had life in them. I don't know. You know, what the hell is going on? Who saw what? Who was where with who? And this and that and the other. Because there's a lot of people that claim they wasn't at the party. You either got pictures of them at the party. Or you see them stating stuff that they saw while they were at the hotel. You know, like Marco. Or you got people posting stuff, you know, around the time that the party was going on. That you can match with outfits in the party. So clearly it's a lot of lying going on. Because clearly a lot of them know what happened. And saying that they wasn't there. So they don't you know, have to be in the mix. Because like I said. There's a lot of people that was there. That did not give a statement. And it has not talked to the police. So um, it's some people that know more than what they saying. And I just want to say once again with Forrest that cousin. If he seen some stuff going on, why he didn't say something? Why he didn't help Kanika? That was his first cousin. Because he had to be there if he seen them at threesome doing the pool area. So, I don't know. I just wanted to, um, you know, just put this out there. Like some things that, you know, we didn't forgot about. Things that we didn't miss. So, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all feel about it.